if you watch a tour player warm up before a round of golf, now this is not practice, this is warming up before a round of golf, you'll notice that he or she will start off with a few little small swings with probably their lob wedge, move on to fuller swings with that lob wedge, and then start to gradually go down the bag. So they'll hit some short irons, some middle irons, some long irons. If you have a hybrid in your bag, they'll probably hit that as well. And then finish off with a couple drivers. And then in the end, they'll come back and hit a few little chip shots with their lob wedge. That's a perfect warm up routine. But you can also help yourself with the Supersonic X10 warm up before a round of golf. What I want you to do prior to hitting your lob wedges, set the dial on one or two, very, very light. And just slowly, make sure you turn on the speedometer, very slowly swing back and start to feel the swing. Now you might not release the slider cone, the lag cone, because in a little small shot, you don't get much of that. But then you'll get a little bit larger with your swing. Get a sense for the timing of the release of a half swing. Put the X10 down, grab your lob wedge. Try to get that same sensation. <coughs> Easy, 25, 30, 35 yard shots. Just get a sense of the club swinging back and up, dropping down in front of you, releasing past your body. I usually hit 10, 12 of those before I even move on because I want to get my rhythm, I want to get my tension control, I want to get my flow for the day. Then eventually what I'll do, I'll go with my lob wedge, start to make fuller swings. Now my lob wedge is not anywhere near as forceful as my driver is going to be. So what am I going to do as I go to my seven iron, my five iron, I'm going to take the X10, I'm going to change the setting on the dial, I'm going to probably go to four or maybe five. And that's it for warm up. I don't want to force myself into swinging too hard, I just want to get a feeling of the flow of the golf swing. And I'm getting a feeling for my tension level, my arm tension, my upper body tension. This will give me a sense of what I should be feeling when I pick up a mid iron and make a few swings. So now I've got a six iron. And I'm only trying to replicate the tension level and the flow that the X10 gave me. I'll go on and eventually make full hard swings with the X10 again, setting on about four or five. Big turn, in my swing I get up off my left heel, I get a lot of hip turn, because you need to turn to be able to drive the ball well. Timing is so critical in golf, but it changes on a daily basis. That's why the X10 as a warm up tool can really help you identify what it feels like when you time your swing correctly today. It'll feel differently today than it did yesterday. And it will feel differently tomorrow than it does today. But the X10 can help you identify the feeling of proper timing each and every day you use it before you go out to play. Now, I'll finish off with a couple drivers and then I'm ready to go to the golf course. But most importantly, what I've learned by warming up with the X10 and incorporating it into my warm up routine is why I play poorly when my tension level increases, why I play well when my tension level decreases, and how to identify the correct effort level and tension level on a day to day basis. So again, just feeling what it's like when I have the X10 in my hand. Let it go, go to the first tee, shoot low, have some fun.